Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and in this one I will be showing you how to build the amazing Elytra launcher that will send you flying so far up into the sky that you can fly for thousands and thousands of blocks. Now let's take this thing for a test ride so you can see it immediately in action. We walk up the ladder, then we walk forward, we fall down, we tap spacebar, and then we just go absolutely flying up into the sky. I'm going to press F3, and if you look at our Y coordinate, you can see that we're approaching 700, just under 700. This thing is absolutely amazing. And of course, now I can just fly forever and ever, uh, but I think I'd like to get back to the launcher. And it might take us a while to get there. And thanks to the magic of video editing, we are back safe and sound. So this contraption that we are looking at was originally created by Zacrazy Fool, and I have modified this contraption, and I'm going to show you how to build my modified version. If you want to check out the original contraption, you'll find a link to Zacrazy Fool's channel in the description box down below, and to their video as well. So if you're watching, buddy, thank you for sharing this with the community. I have now modified it so that every single time you go to use this, it will successfully launch. And the way that I've done that is by simply adding some ladders at the front and back so to use it you simply climb up and this is it to make sure that you launch every single time just walk forward as soon as you start to drop down tap spacebar and that's it you are ready to go and fly with your fancy wings to build this wonderful contraption you are going to need an adequate amount of space and the key thing here is not the size of the contraption but where you build it because you're going to come hurtling out of this contraption very very fast and the last thing you want to do is fly straight into a wall so of course you're going to need to build this with a big open stretch of area in front of you and enough space for you to pull up into the sky. But with that being said, the contraption itself is relatively small. It's going to be three blocks across and five blocks across this way and then five blocks tall in total. Now the base of the contraption is this three by three area and the very center of the thing, if you come up by four blocks like this, this will be the height that you drop into the elytra launcher at. So if you want to make this flush with the floor, you want to consider that this is where your floor is going to go and then you're going to be able to walk forward over it and drop down into the contraption. So make, that, make sure there is this free block space between the base of your platform and the floor above. Now you're going to need some materials to build this and lucky for you I put them all inside of this chest right here. So gather up these materials and we'll be ready to build. Of course you don't need one boat, you actually need a lot and I would recommend at least 100 boats. So you're going to need a lot of wood to craft all of those. So we start off with our 3x3 free free base platform and the fence posts go towards the side where you want to launch out. So if this is the way that you want to go put them at the front you put them in the other direction then we're going to end up flying into that thing which is no good so then you want to put a sign on this fence post and then put a sign on the side of this one so you have to hold down shift when you place it and then you should see something like that the next thing we want to do is put a dispenser at the back facing forward and then put the water here very important you put it at the front so it flows back towards the dispenser make sure you don't get that incorrect then on either side I'm going to put a furnace and this is just basically a block that can't be moved by the slime block and I like to place it like this so that the furnaces are facing into each other and then you can't see the front texture anywhere but that's just a little thing I like to do you then want to put two slime blocks and then just place any old block back here and put a sticky piston between them and then remove that block and then put three glass panes at the front one on either side and one in front of the slime block the next step is to put these hoppers and chests pointing into the dispenser here. So you can see there's a hopper pointing into that, a chest above it with another hopper and a chest up here. And the idea is that we're going to fill up all of these chests and hoppers and the dispenser with boats which are going to get dispensed in the water. Now to do this in survival, here is my tip on how to craft loads of boats at once. You want to get lots and lots of wood in your inventory and when you hold down shift you're going to fill up your inventory and be left with some here which is no good. So then what I want you to do is tap Q and you're actually going to throw these boats out in front of you and then if you stand on them you can simply open the chest and double click these things in and then you've picked up all the other ones that you've crafted. Okay our chests are now all full up with the exception of that one, the hoppers full up and the dispenser too. And the next thing to do is to activate all of these. Now this can take a moment 
And I think where I've been opening the trap chest, which I accidentally used, I've actually been dispensing boats. But that's not going to mess with this, don't worry. What you need to do is take the lever, put it down next to the dispenser, and just hold right click. And it might take a while, but it's going to dispense all of the boats. Okay, you hear how the clicking noise has changed? And how there's no boats appearing? That means that all of this is empty. So we are going to remove the lever, the chests, and the hoppers. And then we're going to put a block behind this piston, put a button on top of it, and then activate that. And then remove the button, the block, the piston, and this slime block right here. We're very nearly there now. I know you're excited to use your elytra launcher, but we need to put three slabs at the top, and these need to be on the top side, so I've just placed those in front of where the glass panes are. Then on top of the glass panes, we're going to go up by three blocks with glass. We're going to do that on both sides, and then in the middle on top of the slab like so. Then we're going to come around to the back, place two blocks on top of the glass panes in the middle of the contraption, put two ladders behind it, and then you want to stand on top, hold down shift, place one on the bottom, and one above and believe it or not this thing has been successfully constructed now we're going to want to give it a test run and see if we've done it correctly here we go are you ready all we've got to do is walk forward then tap space while we're on the ladders and off we go absolutely amazing worked first time no surprise because we constructed it correctly as far as i know and there you go that's how you build the elytra launcher so that concludes the tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. As always, thank you so much for your support. And if you were wondering why my Elytra looks different, it's because I have a custom cape. If you want to know all about my custom cape and other capes, check out the video on your screen. And the other video on your screen is to how to get an Elytra to drop from the End Dragon. So let's say you play on a multiplayer server, there isn't a lot of Elytras to go around. Maybe having the Ender Dragon drop it when it dies would be something you would want to consider. Then everyone could have Elytras. But anyway, that's it from me. I want to say a big thank you again to the Crazy Fool for sharing this. His link is in the description box down below. And I'll also put a little world download for you down there. So be sure to check that out if you need it. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.